On August 25, 1981, an SR-71 Blackbird was in the skies over the Korean Peninsula when the air defense forces of North Korea fired two S-75 surface-to-air missiles against it using a Soviet-made air defense system. Make sure to keep in mind that at that moment, North Korea was signaling to the newly elected Reagan administration that America conducting surveillance flights over their land was not acceptable. Due to the EDF, or defensive electronic systems, of the SR-71, the pilots had the ability to swiftly identify the missile launch. Because North Korea occasionally deceives the pilots with fake launches, at first the pilots were unsure if this was a genuine launch or a simulated one. They initially thought it was a phony launch, but luckily, the pilot glanced to the right in time to see the missile coming toward them. However, this time, the SR-71 didn't employ speed to escape the missile. According to reports, the SR-71's potent electronic warfare capabilities were responsible for the Korean attack's failure to hit the SR-71 Blackbird because they interfered with the missile system's navigation and made it deviate off course.